Supply One Plastics was originally founded in 1968 under the name of Widener Plastics. The company's founder, William W. Morris, Jr., started the company as a steel rule dye repair company that quickly changed to packaging and thermal forming. William W. Morris ran the company until his untimely death in 1994. The company was purchased by his son, David W. Morris, in 1997, who was the owner and president until July 2000. In 1999, David Morris was approached by Supply One and its founder, William Leith. Mr. Leith's goal was to add thermal forming packaging to an already growing national packaging company in order to provide interior packaging protective capabilities. Bill Leith noted, I am particularly excited about the Widener acquisition because it adds a new dimension to our product offering to customers not only throughout the Mid-Atlantic region, but nationally as well. Widener Plastics joined the Supply One team in July 2000. Supply One Plastics has grown from a one-shift operation serving only industries type customers to a two-shift thermoformed packaging company serving all industries including medical and food. Supply One Plastics manufactures thermoformed plastics using various types of raw materials to meet our customers' needs. Materials range in a variety of thicknesses. Various material options are available, PET, PETG, HDPE, polystyrene, oriented and high impact, flocked hips, polypropylene, conductive and anti-static materials. A plentiful stock of raw materials are stored on hand or can be ordered as needed to provide quick turnaround. All materials are inventoried and are able to be traced back to our vendors. Supply One Plastics is able to meet customers' material needs to service medical, food, industrial, electronic, and cosmetic industries, and many more. The inline post trim machines take roll material, transport it through an oven station where the material is heated. It continues to the form station where the material is formed into the mold and then cooled to set the plastic. The formed tray then indexes to the trim station to get cut out. At the very end, a packer pulls the trays out of the web and packs the trays into a box, 